What's up killers and victims, it's Douglas here at Productions bringing you my final Scream scores before the release of the new Scream film. No masks in today's video, but I do have some really, really cool stuff to show you guys. Starting off with the piece I'm wearing. This is a limited edition Ghostface inspired drop by Lazy and Crazy. If you guys don't know who Lazy and Crazy is, Lazy and Crazy is a clothing brand that was created by Juggalo artist Shaggy the Airhead. If you guys haven't heard his music, go check it out. If you guys haven't seen the clothing, go check it out. You guys may have seen me rocking a few other Lazy and Crazy pieces, like the jersey I'm wearing in most of my Scream movie mask guides, but this is the limited edition Ghostface drop, which unfortunately is already sold out. You guys cannot get any more of these, but these are top of the line, high quality jerseys. I really love everything I've gotten from Lazy and Crazy. The embroidering is top notch. I don't know why I feel the need to lift this up, but here's old Ghostface on the front. On each sleeve, you've got the LC, Lazy and Crazy. And on the back, of course, Lazy and Crazy and dual daggers. So yeah, there you have it, pretty fucking fresh. Seriously, if you guys haven't checked out the Lazy and Crazy website, go to the description down below. Go check it out. They make all sorts of really awesome streetwear, top of the line, high quality stuff. And you can shop literally your entire fit there. They make hoodies, t-shirts, jerseys, ski masks, face masks, socks, joggers, I think shorts as well. So go check it out. All right, and moving right along, I'll go ahead and show you guys this. This was another surprise package that I absolutely did not expect. As some of you may have seen in my most recent video, I unboxed a care package of stuff that was sent to me as a gift from Paramount Pictures or the Scream Movies account. And uh, I didn't expect there to be more than one package, but this came a couple of days after the previous package. I went ahead and opened it up. Well, it was kind of already open when it was delivered, but I went ahead and pulled it out just to see what was in there uh, off camera. So. Nothing super, super crazy, but very, very awesome items indeed. So this is the tube it came in, which was already ripped open when I got it. Yet again, I had no clue what this item even was. And there it says, yet again, from Paramount Digital. So let's check it out, guys. I'm sure you can already tell by the poster tube that it's going to be posters, but let's take a look. So there were a couple of little defects on these, so they may have been pulled out before they were delivered to me and someone put them back in, but nonetheless, still in really, really good shape. Let's see if I can get this pulled up without causing any creases. Here we have a full theater size poster for the new film. Of course, this is the close-up of Ghostface with a knife. The classic poster, I guess it seems to be at this point. Really, really awesome. Of course, always great to have giant posters. And the fact that it is specifically one of these theater light box posters, really, really great to have. I'm trying to roll that up so it doesn't get messed up. And it unrolled anyway. So, there was not just one, but two posters inside. And here's the other one. A little bit more excited about this one simply because the other one, I already got a mini poster from them of the same image. But still, this... It's probably, I, I don't know, guys. What do you think is your favorite poster from this release? They really did a great job on all the posters. I really, really like the setup of this one. Of course, with the house. The only thing I don't really like about this poster is that they felt the need to put the killer is on this poster at the bottom. I mean, are we talking about Ghostface? Literally right here, front and center? Is that what you mean? There's the killer and you're just toying with us? Or are you more so trying to say one of the main cast is going to be the killer? It's not going to be some background character with just a couple of minutes of screen time, uh, screen time uh, that just pops up out of nowhere and oh, I'm the killer. Or uh, is it going to be one of the main characters? It seems like that's probably more so what they're hinting. But with the misdirection approach that they're doing with this film, there's really no telling. Regardless, really, really great to have both of those. I am going to have a hard time finding somewhere to hang them up and to get them framed, so they're probably going to get carefully rolled back up and put back in the poster tube they came in and stored away for the time being. And unfortunately, they were a little rough around the edges because, like I said, someone did open it before it got here. But still, really, really awesome to have. Yet again, thank you so much, Paramount. And now, we get to the final piece in today's video. So the previous item we looked at, the package from Paramount, actually arrived about two, three minutes, maybe five minutes tops after this package. Wasn't expecting that, and also completely forgot about this. This was something that I was able to score on eBay. So here on the front, we have Buena Vista Home Video Presents Hollywood Hits 97. Inside, your second dazzling standee. 
Which is pretty funny, because this is actually my second standee. Second Scream standee in the collection as well. You know, there's the one that we made, and now this one, so pretty cool. Open now and display the spectacular P.O.P. or Pop featuring Metro and Scream plus six other hot hits. So, this essentially is a big advertisement that would have been put inside of a video store for the release of Scream on home video, as well as I guess seven other titles, Metro and then six more. Pretty, pretty cool piece. So, there's not a lot of standees that were made for the first and second Scream films. I really can't think of one made for the third one at all, aside from the promotional material that was done for the albums. I can't think of any theatrical or video store standees that were made for those films. So finding something like this with Scream on it is actually pretty difficult. Finding one still brand new in the box all these years later is insane. Beyond that, this is actually only the second one of these that I've ever seen. I didn't even know these existed until a few months ago when speaking to my friend Nate Reagan, who previously owned one of these. So, to tell you guys that story, I'm going to go ahead and let Nate tell you that himself. Hey guys, thank you Douglas. Alright, so, tell you guys a little bit about uh, my history with the Scream standee, which to my knowledge is the only standee that was ever produced for the original Scream. Basically, long story short, my uh, hometown uh, <clears throat> movie rental place when I was growing up was called Wilkinson TV and Video. Um, honestly, that's where I rented Scream um, for the first time. Now, I did see it in theaters, but that was when it first came out to rent. That was where I rented it, so everything, and they, they would just kind of give away stuff, like, when they weren't using it, like posters or standees. Well, uh, shortly after Scream came out, there was a Scream standee uh, in Wilkinson, and of course it was only part of it, only part of it was Scream, but it had these great, like, little wavy, like, film, like, like film string strands of film going down the side with other things, and I remember one of them was, like, ripped off, I don't know if, like, they, uh, they messed it up or something or, you know, somebody ran into it. I don't know, but it was ripped off. And I asked them if I could have it when they were done. They said, yeah, um, when they were done with it, we picked it up and it was actually in my room for a very long time. It was in my room for like almost 10 years. Um, and it just, you know, just slowly, 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 slowly started like, like slouching and like, you know, it was originally like this. And then it just kind of started to like bend over the cardboard was just getting weaker. It was just all falling apart. Um, eventually it was just not even salvageable. It just kept like, it was basically just crumbled over. So, um, what I ended up doing was I saved the screen portion of it. I like carved that out and kept that and I tossed away the rest, but I don't know what happened to that screen part that I saved. So I don't even have any of it left anymore. Um, but I'm really happy and excited to see that, uh, Douglas has gotten a mint new inbox, never opened, never put together, uh, copy of one of these because uh it's a very special piece to me um it just makes me think of growing up and having that in my room for so long I can't even tell you how long I had that in my room um so very cool ultra rare piece and uh keep watching Douglas's channel for more amazing scream stuff and let us all know what you think of the movie after you see it here and uh hmm, really directly well, there you have it. That's Nate's story and personal connection to this thing. I really don't have a personal connection to it. Obviously, I never would have seen one of these in video stores because I wasn't even born yet. But still, it's a really, really cool piece to have. And I think we are going to go ahead and crack this open and take a look at it. I'm not going to assemble this simply because I have nowhere to put it fully assembled. But perhaps one day we'll have the space to get this thing put together somewhere public. All right, guys, I've got this cracked open and there's a lot of stuff to see here. So let's take a look. First up, we have this little piece that would go at the bottom. It says Embroidered Studio Cap when you rent five movies, $15 value, choose from three different designs, and a cap and exclusive deluxe duffel bag when you rent five more movies, so ten total. Okay, so that actually, I think, answers a lot of questions. So check this out. It even shows a Scream promo hat as well as a Miramax promo hat and then Ransom. Same thing with the bags over here. You guys may remember some time ago, I actually received a Scream embroidered duffel bag with that logo on it, the same one as on the hat, and wondered where exactly it came from or how you got that, and now I guess I know. It was a promotional thing that you could get through this. 
I presume as well, since it has a dollar value on it, that you possibly could just buy those as well, but still very, very cool to see them. Next up, it looks like we have the instructions to put this thing together. So that's pretty interesting. It's actually fully printed instructions showing the actual piece, this one specifically, not just another one with different images or different movies on it, specifically this release, how to put it together. So there you guys can see what the fully assembled piece would look like. Hope you enjoy it because we're not putting it together. But yet again, I will show you guys these pieces. This is really, really cool to see stuff like this because obviously, even though this wasn't my childhood, extending into the early 2000s, I do remember going into video stores and seeing cool stuff like this, these kind of promotional items. All right, so it looks like here's one side. We've got the classic sling blade as well as Albino Alligator. I, I can't say that I've ever seen that film. And then also Mask of Death. I, I also don't know if I've seen this. It looks very familiar, but it also looks like every other generic action movie. So there you go. The rest of the cardboard in here besides the other film reel seems to pretty much just be the base itself. All right, the other side here. We've got Marvin's Room. I also have not seen that film. We have Ransom, which I do believe that I've seen forever ago, but eh, I don't remember that much about it. Apparently it didn't make that big of an impact. And The Substance of Fire, which I absolutely have not seen. So maybe, uh, maybe at some point we'll look at all these movies and compare them against Scream and see what was the best release for that week. All right, here's the large part with Scream on it. Of course, you guys know what the cover of Scream looks like, but still, very, very large print, obviously high quality cardboard print image. And last but not least, the other piece of this is the one with Metro, which is a pretty funny movie. Also been quite a while since I've seen that, but I do remember Metro. I, I really don't really remember the rest of these films too much, but if you guys have seen all of these, let me know. Which one do you think's the best? Do you think any of these are better than Scream? Probably not. Probably why it's top build on this whole piece, but still let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Well, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video. Like I said, guys, not a ton of stuff, but some really, really cool items and no masks. I know you guys love the masks and I do too, but still really, really amazing items. And uh, I really can't wait to see the new Scream film. I'm really hyped. I have stayed away from all these trailers. I know some of you have as well. Some of you have also just probably seen the film by the time this video is out, but at the same time, I'm really excited. I hope the film is good. Hope you guys enjoy it. I love you all. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and see you next time.